Hi everybody. You might be wondering what I'm doing right here besides uh, standing in the field looking like an idiot. Well, there's always that. What I have on my head is GoPro Hero 9. Now for years I've used a Yee Light, no longer made, great little camera, good battery life, very important as far as uh, wearing it uh, all day for pheasant hunting and the like. So this is the Hero 9, and I'm just going to break a couple clays to give you an idea of the video quality. We're talking about uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. That's all I want in a, in a hunting camera that I'm going to wear on my hat. So. Battery life is always a problem. One thing I can tell you right now about the GoPro, from videotaping the inside of a drawer at home for about an hour and a half, is uh, that's what you get. It's about an hour and a half for battery. Colder weather will be uh, somewhat less. Obviously, if you want to play around with the higher resolution modes, 4K or whatever, you're going to suck batteries much, much quicker. And the Hero 9 gets hot. I mean, this thing gets really hot. If you let it run for 20 minutes uh, indoors, it's, it's not comfortable to hold. It's too hot to hold. So uh, that may be a problem uh, for some if you're in a warmer climes. But uh, fall, winter hunting, of course, uh, that's not going to be a problem at all. there. Let me try the Gordian 3 inch just to amuse myself and see if there's any appreciable difference in recoil. There should be because it's three and a half inch beside Mara is very soft shooting. These are ounce and an eighth, uh, 1200 foot per second. Remington Clay and Field loads. Well, hopefully that will give you just a good idea of what the GoPro does against the moving target. Hardly an extensive test. I'll use it uh, in the morning and late afternoon during uh, overcast um, and snowy weather. So that will give you a better idea as far as overall video quality. But this is 1080, 1080p, 60 frames per second. 